the Everglades, there's a way of life. It's a way of peace without stress or strife. There's a fellow there who protects these rights. Lincoln Vale of the Everglades. But they'll fight for rights and the homes they've made. Simple grassroots people of the Everglades. There's a natural danger and a man to face. Lincoln Vale of the Everglades, the man on patrol in the Everglades. Moving, ever moving, moving, ever moving through the Everglades. You're a privileged character? Well, now, I'm surprised you even know how to talk, mister. From the looks of you, I'd say you were something that just uh, dragged up out of the swamps. Well, I'd say you need a little lesson in politeness. Well, any time an old glades rat like you wants to teach me a lesson, why, well, you just go right ahead and try. <laughs> okay, Link, you got me this time, but I'll get you the next well, one. Well, you just keep trying, Pete. One of these days you might make it. Huh? Right. How was the trip, hmm? Oh, it paid off pretty well. The only trouble with them big business executives is when you guide them, they expect me to rough it like they do. <laughs> Giving uh, old Betsy your yearly beauty treatment. Huh? Yes, sir. You never can tell what you might need. Oh, say, Link, maybe you can help that young man over there. He's trying to find somebody. Hey, uh, mister, come here a minute. Uh, this is our local constable, Link Vale. Uh, Pete you... Hammond. Uh, what would you say your name was? Uh, Coleman. John Coleman. Yes, yeah, he's looking for a girlfriend. Thinks she might live someplace around here. I know just about everybody around here. What's her name? Well, you see, I only knew her by her professional name. She was a dancer at a nightclub up in Chicago. I can tell you, mister, we don't have any nightclub dancers living in these parts. No? Well, maybe I was all wrong. It's not important. Well, I thought you said you'd come all the way down here to find her. Oh, no, no. Uh, I'm here just to hunt and fish. You know how it is. Thought maybe I'd look for it at the same time. But thanks anyway. Nice meeting you. So long. Kind of a nervous fellow. Hey, Jack, uh, clean that bell. Oh, no, no, no. He's just bashful. No, he sounded uh, very anxious about her when he's talking to me. Sounded mighty pretty. Dark, wavy hair, large, sparkling eyes, a pretty form, a... not that tall. No, I wouldn't mind going after a girl like that myself. <laughs> you know who that sounds like? Ella Bailey's niece, Claire. Claire Bailey? Hey, wait a minute. You mean Claire's come back here? Yeah, a couple of days ago. Why, do you know her? Know her? Way before your time. Hey, I gotta go get cleaned up. <laughs> Fast as I ever see him move. Yeah. I'll see you later, Bert. Yeah. Coleman! Uh, uh, Mr. Coleman, I, I don't think she ever danced in a nightclub, but that girl you described, it sure sounds like Claire Bailey. She lives with her aunt and uncle out in the glade. Oh, well, maybe I'll look her up if I get the chance. Uh, do they live near here? Oh, it's only a couple of miles. 
Your guide will stay. Oh, I didn't hire a guide. Kind of enjoy my own company. I'll find it all right. You didn't hire a guide? No. Well, uh, you know, uh, once you get out there, all the hammocks and channels look just about the same. Listen, I'll tell you what. I have to get some supplies, and when I get through, uh, you can follow me out. Hmm? Uh, I don't want to bother you. No, 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 it's no bother at all. It'll only take me a few minutes. Be right back. Good to see you again, Ella. I, I brought a visitor along. He thinks he might be a friend of your niece's. That so? Now, Mr. Coleman, Miss Bailey. Glad to know you, Mr. Coleman. How do you do? You friend of Clarence? Well, I don't really know for sure, ma'am. Morning, Constable. Well, see for yourself. Morning. Uh, Mr. Coleman, uh, Miss Bailey. How do you do? Um, How do you do? Uh, Mr. Coleman is looking for a friend of his from, from the description. He said she was very pretty. I, I thought it might be you. I thank you, Constable. I'm sorry, Mr. Coleman. I hope you find her. I do, too. Well, I'll be getting along. Appreciate your help. Nice meeting you both. Now, just what was that all about, Link? Oh, he, uh, he said he was looking for a nightclub dancer he used to know. Nightclub dancer, Claire? <laughs> Don't act so shocked. I think that's a compliment. Now listen here, Link Vale. I'll have you know my niece is a mighty high class, serious young lady. Well, I'm, I'm sure she is, Ella. I, I didn't... And furthermore, she's a secretary, knows how to cook, keep house, thrifty as they come. And Ella. You'll have to excuse her, Constable. Excuse me for what? And what's all this formal stuff between you two? Her name's Claire, and his name's Link. Now, come on in and try a sample of her cook. Oh, well, I'd like to, Ella, but uh, I, I have to get back. Sounds like you have some company coming. Uh, Ella? Claire? Saved by the bell, Link? Well, I'll see you soon. Pete Hammond. Could that handsome devil be old Pete Hammond? Look here, chum. You stay away from my girl. What kind of competition could I give a later killer like you? I learned a long time ago never to trust a constable. How about finishing mm. this piece? Well, no. No, thank you, Clem. Three pieces is enough for me. Anyway, I, I got other things on my mind. Do you remember what I told you last time you was here? Oh, Pete, that's been three long years. I said there'd never be another girl for me but you. And if you ever change your mind... Pete... There are lots of girls like me around. The trouble with you is you haven't looked for them. But you're the only one I ever wanted to marry, Claire. Pete, you're a very sweet guy, but... All I ask is just a chance. See you. Maybe let's go out if you have some free time, okay? Well... We'll see. How about tonight? Maybe tomorrow. I'll let you know. Gee, it, it's great having you back, Claire. Make a good husband, but like your Uncle Joe, he'd be away most of the year. It's mighty lonesome being the wife of a guide. Now, you take a fella like Link Vale. Oh, Aunt Ella, he's not interested in me. Or just stay around long enough to give him the chance, child. 
Well, I'll see you later. Where are you going? Oh, just into town. I, I have some letters to mail. <laughs> you're here. I'll bet. I've been waiting for you to come. I knew you'd come here. I didn't think we'd planned it this way. I could have sworn you ran out on me. Lucky I remembered you once said you had relatives in the glade. Johnny, I know I ran out. I got panicky. I lost my head, but I knew you'd come. I've been waiting for you. All right, sweetheart. Here's your chance to prove it. The paper said there were $20,000 in that bag. Where is it? I hid it on an empty hammock. It's all there, Johnny. Every penny of it. Come on, I'll show you. What's that for? Just want to make sure we understand each other, sweetie. You know, once bitten, twice shy. After you. You see, Link, I can't let Claire get away from me this time. You will do it for me, won't you? Oh, Pete, what makes you think they'll listen to me? Ella will. She likes you. <laughs> she can talk Claire into it. Okay, Pete, I'll talk you up as best I can. Gee, thanks, Link. Hey, I won't forget it. The only thing is, I hope I'll be forgiven. Lying to such a fine girl as Claire. It's right here at the foot of the tree. All you have to do is dig it up. You do it. Sure. Johnny, man that I brought by here yesterday? Mm -hmm. I found his boat drifting in the channel this morning. No sign of him. Probably went ashore on some hammock and didn't moor it proper. Well, I kept searching, calling for him. If he were marooned, he would have answered. He'll turn up sooner or later. Got some news for you, Link. Hmm? Claire's got to go right back to New York. Yeah. There was a telegram from her office waiting for her when she went to town yesterday. Oh, that's a Suppose you'll want to stop by and say goodbye later on. She'll be here till mid-afternoon. Well, I, I better keep looking for him. Hope you find that fella. Bye, Ella. Well, uh, that's that's, uh, that's all it was, Bert. Just canned food and clothes. Ooh. That's funny. Wonder what happened to all of his hunting and fishing gear. Mm. That's what I was wondering. You know, I better call headquarters in Gladestown and have them send a helicopter out. 
Oh, say, have you seen Pete? No, I haven't. Well, if you do, will you tell him that Claire's leaving for New York today? So soon? Boy, she must have changed. She hasn't even been in town to say hello. No, she was in town yesterday. You must have missed her. In town? No, she wasn't. You better have your eyes checked, Bert. She picked up a telegram. There's nothing wrong with my eyes. I bet you'd borrow the bone nut she hasn't set foot in town. <laughs> okay. Okay, you win. But be sure and give that message to Pete, huh? Mind if I talk to you for a minute? Uh, it's kind of personal. Oh, I get it. You don't want Claire to hear, huh? Okay. Um, where did you say she works? Executive secretary to some big muckamuck in New York. You know where she works? Not offhand. Why? Well, I, uh, I just thought I might write her a letter. Well, ask her. Why did you quit beating around the bush and come out with it? You like her a lot, don't you? Well, she is a very pretty girl. You mind if I take her to town? Well, of course not. Hi. Pretty, huh? Like a picture in a magazine. I uh, can't talk to you over the sound of that engine, Claire. I guess not. Tell me, what what made you decide to leave so suddenly? Oh, didn't Aunt Ella tell you? My firm sent me a wire saying that... No, the telegraph office in Sweetwater said there wasn't any wire. I'm ashamed, Link. I fibbed. You see, I wouldn't do anything in the world to hurt Aunt Ella. Well. Well, she's been after me to come for a visit, and I said that I'd stay two weeks. But after two days, I started to lose my mind. Link, what could I say to her? Where were you yesterday afternoon, Claire? Oh, I... I just went into town, took a walk. You've been away too long. You forgot how small a town Sweetwater is. You would have been seen. You weren't anywhere near Sweetwater, Claire. Link, don't tell me you're jealous. Well, I wish that's what it was. I've been checking on you, Claire. On me? Why? Well, I didn't want to. It was because of Johnny Coleman. Who? Oh, you mean the man that you brought by yesterday? Yeah. He disappeared. I, uh... I called the headquarters in Gladestown about it. The only clue I had was that he bought all of his clothes in Miami. What does that have to do with me? Well, the Miami police are looking for Coleman and his girlfriend. It's in connection with the robbery and murder of a Miami nightclub owner named Earl Dixon. Oh, he said that he was looking for someone who worked at a nightclub. Well, Coleman's girlfriend worked in the nightclub owned by the murdered man. Police believe that she got cozy with him and possibly set up the murder by Coleman. The description fits you, Claire. Me. You must be kidding me. Well, you might as well know, Claire. I called the Miami police. They're going to meet us in Sweetwater in an hour with the photos of Coleman's girlfriend. And suppose I am that girl. Will you help me if I make a deal with you? A deal? <laughs> you know better than that. The money. It's all here. Take it, do whatever you want with it. I'll never tell a soul you've got it. Look. Thanks, Constable. Hey, 
Well, honey, I was just on my way to see you. I, bu I bought you a present. Pete, were you serious about wanting to marry me? Are you kidding? I'd cut off my right arm for you to say the word, Claire. Pete, I've thought it over. I'll marry you. Say that again? But not here. You'll have to leave the glade. You name it, honey. Anywhere. Where's your car? Huh? Uh, over there. We'll keep driving until we find someplace that'll marry us right now. You'll have to hurry before I change my mind. I don't know what's got into you, but come on. We'll have to go by my place first and pick up some clothes, and, and then we can go. mind I play the part of Constable Lincoln Vale in the Everglades, America's last remaining frontier. And here are a few exciting scenes you'll see in the weeks to come. Join us next week and every week for another exciting adventure in the Everglades. In the 
Everglades. There's a way of life. It's a way of peace without stress or strife. There's a fellow there who protects these rights. Lincoln Vale of the Everglades, the man on patrol in the Everglades. But they'll fight for rights and the homes they've made. Simple grassroots people of the Everglades. There's a natural danger and a man to face. Lincoln Vale of the Everglades, the man on patrol in the Everglades. We're never moving through the Everglades.